Hello everyone and welcome to Learn German and to this video on the topic of learning German with ChatGPT. If you are someone who is interested in learning German but doesn't have access to a physical classroom or tutor, then you might be wondering whether it's possible to learn the language with the help of an AI language model like ChatGPT. In this video, we'll explore the benefits and limitations of using ChatGPT for language learning, as well as some tips on how to get the most out of the experience. So let's dive in and see whether ChatGPT can help you master the German language. Well, surprisingly, this intro was also written by ChatGPT. But what is ChatGPT? Let's ask ChatGPT itself. ChatGPT is a type of language model developed by OpenAI. It's a form of artificial intelligence designed to generate human-like text responses to a given prompt or question. In simple terms, it's a program that can hold a conversation with you, answering your questions and responding to your statements on patterns it has learned from a large amount of text data. Let's see how you can access ChatGPT. Go to the link mentioned and click on Try ChatGPT. Then sign up with a username and your mobile number. You will land on a chat page. So now let's see what answer we get for the next question. So the question is, can I learn German with ChatGPT? ChatGPT gives us a very comprehensive answer. Yes, you can learn German with ChatGPT. Since it's a language model, it has been trained on a vast amount of text data, including German texts, and it can assist you in learning German through various methods, which we'll be discussing shortly. You can ask questions, you can get answers, it can also recommend sources, resources, give you feedback, etc. But there's also a disclaimer. Just keep in mind that while it can provide you with information and guidance, learning a language requires consistent practice and effort. Now, if you ask ChatGPT how it can exactly help you in learning German, you will be given a list of ideas. Let's summarize these. Well, ChatGPT can provide examples and exercises for practicing. It can answer your questions about the language. It can give information about history and culture of Germany and German-speaking areas. It can provide translations, synonyms, explanations, give examples of new words. It can help a lot with grammar and vocabulary. We'll be looking at a few examples shortly. There are a few things that you need to remember. You can decide in which language you want to chat with ChatGPT. It could be German or it could be English. You have to formulate your prompt exactly. You have to be very specific about what you want. And do take some time and patience when you sit and work with ChatGPT. If you are enjoying our content and want to learn some more German, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now we'll be looking at some examples. As mentioned before, ChatGPT can help you in vocabulary. Beim Wortschatz. Here's an example. We take up the word Weltschmerz and we ask ChatGPT, was bedeutet Weltschmerz? Quickly, we get a response with an explanation. Now let's say, I want to know the English term for Weltschmerz. And now I want a Spanish translation. So I ask ChatGPT to translate Weltschmerz in Spanish. As you can see, you can ask ChatGPT to translate or explain things to you also in other languages. You could also ask ChatGPT to make sentences with a new word for you. ChatGPT can also help you in making vocabulary lists. Here is an example. We ask ChatGPT to make a vocabulary list on the topic house in German, along with translations and articles. As mentioned before, 
Your prompt has to be very clear. It can make a vocabulary list, but I also want the English translations and I also want the articles. So I have to add this in the prompt so that I can get the correct list. Now let's say I have recently done a topic Meine Familie in German and I would like to read some short texts. So I can ask ChatGPT to recommend me some short texts or articles on this topic in German. There I get a list with a few links. I can click on them and read the texts and improve my German on the topic Meine Familie. If you are done with a certain topic, you can also play games with ChatGPT. For example, Wörterrätsel. Let's do it on the topic Meine Wohnung. So we asked ChatGPT to make a Wörterrätsel on the topic Meine Wohnung, but not give the answers. Again, you have to be very specific about your prompt, because if you don't write this, it will list down the answers right after the puzzle. As you can see, here is the puzzle and you can give your answers and ChatGPT will tell you whether the answer is right or wrong. Wort Assoziationen Another example of a game is making word associations. We ask ChatGPT to make a word association of Deutsch and we give it the first word, Schule. Word associations are games where the next word given to you is related to the previous word. Similarly, you can also make Wortketten, word chains, where the next word begins with the last alphabet of the first word. Let's see. So we ask ChatGPT to play Wortkette. <clears throat> it gives me the first word Katze, I write down Elephant and then it says Hut. So I have to tell ChatGPT again that your next word should have begun with T. So then it starts to give me the correct words. So as mentioned before, you have to be very careful and you have to also keep in mind that there can be slight mistakes with ChatGPT. Then you have to correct it and then probably you get the correct answer. If not, then you have to again prompt it. So these are a few things you have to keep in mind. You can also use ChatGPT to revise your articles. You can ask it to make a list of words and then you have to give the articles. This is a random list of words. You can also give it a specific topic like Umwelt, Familie, Schule, etc. Just like the articles, you can also revise the plural forms of nouns. You can ask for a list. Again, if you want in a specific topic, you can give your answers. You will get feedback immediately. And if it's a wrong answer, then ChatGPT will correct it. ChatGPT can also provide you with laser text. You can ask it for some texts and it will provide you some simple texts or even complicated texts and make an exercise for you if you ask it to do it. You can also say whether you want it for the level A1 or B1 or C1. ChatGPT can also make an exercise for you for the given text. As I mentioned before, it will directly give you the answers if you don't ask it not to do it. If you have any doubts in grammar, these can also be resolved or explained with the help of ChatGPT. For example, let's ask ChatGPT to explain us the dative case. As you can see, here's a full explanation in English. There are examples along with translations. <clears throat> now you can ask ChatGPT to make an exercise for you. So you can practice what you just learned. You can also give your answers and get feedback immediately whether your answers are correct or wrong. ChatGPT can also help you in writing short texts. Here's an example. You want a text on the topic Meine Familie. ChatGPT writes a text for you. You can also mention which level you want. 
For example, I want a text on Umwelt for level C1. Then I also mention it should be for 100 words. So ChatGPT writes a text for me in German on the topic Umweltschutz in 100 words. But the question arises, how am I learning something here? You can pick up the text, copy and paste it. You can also read it carefully, ask ChatGPT to explain to you the words that you don't know, or it can help you in a different way how to write a text. You don't ask for a text, but you ask for some structures, Redemittel, for example here. It can be any topic, it can be any level. You have a lot of structures, you pick up the ones that you like, you make a text out of it, you give it to ChatGPT and it can correct it for you. This is a more efficient way on how ChatGPT can help you in writing a text. Let's say you come across a text and you want it to be summarized. ChatGPT can do a Zusammenfassung for you in English as well as in Deutsch. You have to only give it the text, put the correct prompt and here you go with a summary in English and in German. You can also practice conversations with ChatGPT. Here's an example. Let's say you are in a German supermarket and you would like to converse with a person. But remember, your conversational skills might be limited to what you have learned, the vocabulary, the structures, etc., in comparison to what ChatGPT might show you. Alternatively, you could ask ChatGPT to give you some sample conversations. You could mention the topic, you could also mention the level, it's up to you. ChatGPT can also help you in other ways. For example, it can give you tips for learning German or maybe any other language where you need some motivation. ChatGPT can also give you tips for writing an exam. Or it can also give you tips if you are doing some topic in grammar or in any other field. It can also give you a list of references for practice if you want to practice for a specific exam. You can also ask ChatGPT to specifically give you some tips, for example, for writing letters. You could also ask for tips for writing a text on a specific topic. It can also give you examples. Then you can give your text and it can correct your text. ChatGPT can also make plans for you for learning. For example, you say you have three months to reach level A2 and you can invest three hours every day. It can make a plan for you what you should do in month one, in the second month, in the third month, etc. As mentioned before, ChatGPT can correct your texts and give you feedback. Let's say you have written a small text on your family and you give it to ChatGPT for correction. It will correct your text and it will give you a feedback on where you've been making mistakes and what you can avoid when you write your next text. So there are a lot of advantages of learning a language with ChatGPT. You can practice conversations, monologues, dialogues. You can learn grammar with examples, with exercises. You can get tips for learning something, for writing an exam, or maybe for living or studying in Germany. You can learn vocabulary. You can get your texts corrected and get feedback about what you have written. You can also play language games. You can improve your writing or reading skills. And ChatGPT can also create a study plan for you or a learning plan for you. So these were a few pros. Let's come to some cons. First of all, ChatGPT can be distracting. You can maybe not really concentrate on learning German. It can be time consuming, as we have seen. You have to formulate the correct prompt. 
it can also be challenging to form the correct prompt because what you're exactly looking for might not be what you are getting. ChatGPT may not always provide the most correct or accurate information. It may, but it may not. At the end, it cannot replace the human touch, the human teachers, the human interaction which you need when you're learning a language. Here's an example that I would like to show all of you. I would like to know the difference between Dane and Dame. So I asked ChatGPT to give me the difference between Dane and Dame in German. I get a list of explanations with translations, with examples, but I am somehow not really satisfied. I don't know how to go about it. So I ask again, can you explain it to me? The second time I ask the same question, I get a little different explanation. As a teacher, I know that Dane is not only used for accusative masculine, but also for dative plural. This is mentioned here as an example, but the explanation is wrong. So I'm not really very happy or satisfied with the answer that I got from ChatGPT. So these are a few things which you should consider when you are wanting to learn something with ChatGPT. You can practice, yes, that's something that you can do. It can help you in practicing your German. It can also teach you a few things, but do remember it cannot replace the human teachers. Have you already tried ChatGPT or will you be trying? How is your experience or how was your experience? Do let us know in the comments. For this video, there won't be any transcript, any exercise or any podcast. However, if you want material for other videos, don't forget to become a member or a patron. Danke. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. You can click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!